Hello everybody, Jose Rodriguez here. It is September 22nd, Friday afternoon. Quick video here as we have to leave the house to go visit our daughter. Somebody complaining about the longevity problems with the Pro 100 inset from Precision Colors. Well, I'm thinking, what are you talking about? Let me show you actual tests. These are the test prints that I did for Ardenburg when last August. So this has already been over one year. This is the strip that I did, which I stored in dark storage inside an actual heavy book so then not only did it receive no light it also was protected from atmospheric type pollutants here's the one that i left out in my print room it got moved around from location to location but it basically sat here for a whole year i have one that i placed on my west facing window and i have one here that i placed on the front of my refrigerator the deadliest place in my home for inkjet prints. You want to fade something, put it in front of your fridge. All right, so let's compare really quickly. Dark storage and print room. Dark storage is on the bottom, print room is on the top. As you can see, hardly if any difference, okay? That is after a whole year. Dark storage and window facing west, receiving daylight every single day. Yes, the black patches are turning slightly brown. That's because black will fade. So will yellow. If you look at the yellow patches, the one in dark storage is a little bit stronger, deeper than the one exposed to light. So black and yellow will fade. Here's the kitchen. And again, the same results. In fact, the kitchen and the west facing window are pretty much identical in fading. What has not faded is the one that has been kept in the dark and the one that was sitting here in my room. So sitting here in my room simulates, again, for my home, normal conditions, okay? We have two windows. I receive window light. I have my room lights on when I'm filming and so on. So. That represents a bare print with no protection whatsoever sitting here in my print room. It could be in my living room. It could be in my bedroom. It could be anywhere in the house except near my refrigerator. And remember, that is the print killer right there. So, as you can see, hardly any imperceptible fading. So I really don't know what people are talking about. Where are you storing your prints that are fading in two weeks? I have no idea. I have not experienced that here. So far, so good. Yes, Ardenberg declared that inkset as highly fugitive. Well, that just means it faded 10 times faster than the original Canon Pro 100 Chroma Life 100 Plus. Of course. But remember, we are paying 80% to 90% less per refill. So you got to lose something somewhere. We have perfect color match. I mean, how, how good does that get? That's about as good as it gets. And yes, we will lose longevity. Well, how can you make up for that? Spray your prints. Put them in an album. Put them under glass. Store them in boxes. Where are you going to put, in my case, over 3,000 prints I think I now have collected. I don't have enough wall space for 3,000 prints, period. So the few that I have in exhibit around the house are all under glass and have shown zero, zero damage due to either UV or to pollutants in the air. That's it. I cannot explain the results some of these people are getting. Okay, so let's talk about precision colors and this new ink sets that are coming out. Pro 100 will have an improved black and an improved yellow. That's all I know, which happens to match what Canon did with this new ink set. They improved their black ink and they improved their yellow ink, which are the most likely to fade and cause problems. So why concentrate on the other colors which had no problems? Concentrate on the ones that do produce problems and that was black and yellow inkset for the Pro 10, Pro 1, and the Pro 1000. Red is the only color at this point that's still marginal. 
and that's why it's been labeled temporary. I will fill these cards up with this ink set, test it against OEM. I have the prints already done for OEM. All I have to do is load these filled cards into the printer, do a couple of cleaning cycles, and proceed to produce prints with this ink set. Then we'll match them side by side with the Pro 10 OEM results that I have over there. I will also videotape the process so that you guys can tackle this when it comes time for you guys to use this particular ink set. I would suggest that you prepare one of these little adapters or order one from octoinkjet.co.uk. They have them already prepared and they will ship anywhere in the world. And that will allow you to suck out all of the ink that may be present before you go ahead and switch over to another ink set instead of migrating slowly between ink sets. So that is it. That is where we stand now. Thank you so much. I got to go. I hear my wife pacing. Continue to subscribe, share, and like. And until the next time, happy printing, everybody. Bye-bye.